All right, welcome, welcome everyone. We are uh, about three fourths the way through um, this uh, devotional series that I started a couple of weeks ago called The Voice of the Martyrs. So we are on day 71. The scripture reading is from Romans 15 30. I appeal to you, brothers, by our Lord Jesus Christ and by the love of the Spirit, to strive together with me in your prayers to God on my behalf. <clears throat> a normal day. We have had many in our lifetimes without much thought, until an act of violence suddenly turns a day into anything but normal. Some folks enjoying their weekly Bible study at church. A police officer filling his patrol car with gas. Students going to class on their campus. People shopping at a mall. Folks enjoying a movie at their local theater. Nowhere in the world can any of us feel totally safe as the potential for evil acts exists everywhere. We tend to associate acts of terrorism with the Middle East, but Muslim extremists are gaining a foothold in other countries as well. One of these places is Mindano, the second largest and southernmost island of the Philippines. Known for its mountain ranges, it is a popular destination for climbers, especially the country's highest peak, Mount Apo. <clears throat> Minindano has experienced ongoing violence between government forces and minority Muslim rebels. Muslim groups control four providences on the island under the name of the Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindano, ARMM. In October 2012, the government and the separatist uh, Moro Islamic Liberation Front signed a tentative agreement to end the 40-year conflict, <clears throat> which gained more than 120,000 lives in the island's southern region. Most attacks against Christians occur in or near the ARMM, but incidents also occur outside the ARMM as terrorists seek to expand control. Muslim terrorists in the Minindano region seek to force Christians out of their territory by taking land and livestock and killing Christians. They attack Christian villages in attempts to occupy the village or simply steal everything of value, leaving many widows and orphans in their wake. A U.S. official has dubbed Minindano the new Mecca of terrorism, but the dedicated evangel evangelical pastors and their people pray to see Minindano called a miracle of God's grace instead. Going deeper, spend some time getting acquainted with the areas of the world where our Christian family is suffering persecution. A great place to start is the Voice of the Martyrs website, which is www.persecution.com. Sorry. Okay, so the Voice of the Martyrs website is www.persecution.com, <clears throat> where there are many resources to help keep you informed of current prayer needs. Like them on Facebook and then be sure to check Get Notifications. That way, when timely prayer is needed, you will be able to join a host of prayer warriors around the world praying for our persecuted fellow believers. Father, we feel so ignorant not to have known what our brothers and sisters have been suffering around the world, including such places as the Philippines. Forgive us for being so centered on our lives that we have failed to look outside our circle of concerns, although we have not intentionally meant to ignore them. We thank you for how that has changed us, that, how that has changed for us now. Thank you that our knowledge increases our prayers. We pray for the Christians in Minindano as they live life on the edge in so many regards. Protect them, Lord, from danger. Protect their hearts with your peace. Keep them strong in you. And we pray that you'll move the hearts of the Muslim attackers and bring them to yourself. Break forth with your truth and love, Jesus, and work a mighty miracle there. We pray in your powerful name. Amen. Okay, so that will do it for uh, day 71, and I'll just see you guys in the next video. God bless.